testing equipment must be made available adequately and in sufficient quantities across the country to all health professionals in order that we'll get this process uh, going. I do not intend to respond to the health minister's uh, statement that they are being stolen. He knows people who steal what should happen to them and he should invoke the law and let those persons face the full rigors of the law. We cannot at this time be interested in making money out of PP is donated. So that's why an audit becomes an imperative for us to understand what quantities were acquired, what quantities were sent to which hospital, which region, which district, at what time. Our healthcare workers, as I've indicated, need to be adequately resourced, and therefore uh, the minority is deeply worried about the development in the country the climbing numbers of the infections in our country and the uh, attempt to relegate that to the background, those are worrying signs. And uh, we think that the president uh, should probably not have taken that terrible gamble uh, with our lives when he lifted the lockdown. But one can understand his dilemma in Kwakma between the health of citizens and health of the economy, what he opted for. The present, uh, the decision has led to the situation where, since the removal of the lockdown, confirmed cases have more than doubled and deaths have more than tripled. We have also in the process seen hotspots emerge virtually in all parts of the country. And therefore, President Nana Dudanka must take responsibility for this unfortunate development in our country. The minority has fully taken note that following the present reversal of the partial lockdown and our worsening case count, the reputable Ghana Medical Association has publicly called for a different approach in containing and limiting the spread of COVID-19. We are in full support of the call. And as I've indicated, the president simply must be respecting the views of scientific and medical professionals in this enterprise. Ghana's case count is now among the most infected countries in Africa. This has frightening prospects which demands an urgent change in strategy. And we think that the president must change his course in his bid to contain this particular virus. It is absolutely troubling and shocking that in the face of such a pandemic, our government chooses to supply PPE to officials of the Electoral Commission, as if citizens who queue and undertake the exercise don't matter. So when you are providing PPE for Electoral Commission staff, do prepare yourself to provide PPE for the general Ghanaian citizenry. It is only in Ghana that eight months into an election, it's still doubtful what electoral rule will be used for that purpose. I've heard people say that a CI is not ready. There is a CI in force. Until that CI is repealed or revoked, it's good law in Ghana and legitimate law in Ghana. And therefore, if you say that there is no governing law, there is a governing uh, law. And therefore, the Electoral Commission, she sometimes also comes to us as if she is still running an NGO. Let her be reminded that she is running the Electoral Commission of Ghana, a state institution expected to be independent within the remit of Article 45 of the 1992 Constitution. And therefore, what we know is that the Constitution provides for a terminal end to the mandate of the President and members of Parliament after every four years, and presidential and parliamentary elections ought to be conducted, and conducted by the availability and presence of a credible voter register, which is the responsibility of that commission. No excuse will be accepted to us. The fact that it's not reading me, somebody is incompetent, or somebody is not up to their particular uh, uh, tax. 